gay, 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 everything. Each week there is some breaking gay news and we've got some uh, good gay news here. Uh, Nike wants to sponsor an openly gay athlete. So Rick Welts, who's currently the uh, president of the Golden State Warriors, he's openly gay and he was the president of the Phoenix Suns when he came out, this was a couple of years ago. And before he actually came out, he met with uh, NBA commissioner David Stern, some executives at Nike, and the Nike people told him that if an athlete comes out, they would like to sponsor that person. And now he's just waiting for somebody to do this. And I, I think this brings up a lot of questions, but first, uh, seems all good, right? That Nike is throwing it out, they're just putting it out there before someone's even out, we want to give you money. Hey, even if I, well, if I weren't gay, <laughs> that didn't come it, out right. I don't think you are gay. <laughs> no, but if. You're in a traditional marriage as far as I know. I am. Yes. But what I'm saying is, if there's an athlete who's not gay, yeah. mm. what I read was that there's millions of dollars for this person, right. so they could just fake it for oh, a little while. Oh, so go through the phase. <laughs> right? yeah. So you're saying they could literally be, gay for pay is a term in gay porn, right. but you're saying yeah, an athlete. Sports. Now it's in sports, they could be gay first. There is a straight guy out there that's going, I want some of that cash. I don't really mean that. <laughs> I, was, I was just thinking how funny that would be. Yeah. I'm sure you're not the only person who's thought that. There's someone in a locker room who is questioning that. Yeah. I, I wish it were Adidas that were sponsoring it. I'm just yeah. saying because I prefer Adidas. Just yeah, saying. but you're also not a professional. Uh, no, not anymore, I've retired. But that. with Adidas as a sponsor. Um, I, I mean, it's great. It's more incentive, I guess, to not, I guess maybe push someone out, but I don't know that that's the right term because I don't know that that's fair. Yeah. Um, it's good to know that there are people that are willing to rally and support, but I don't know, maybe that is my point. Is it gonna force someone too much to yeah. be the first one to sign the, on well, the line? Well, they're adults. Right, they, they're, yeah. right. There's something that seems a little bizarre about it to me, to, to dangle the money out there first, because if you, Nike, for example, they usually take the cream of the crop. They right. take Michael Jordan, and Kobe Bryant and you know the best of the best and now they're like if you're over. gay right exactly <laughs> you're gay. you did it with the dude like we got millions of dollars for you but you may be scoring two points a game it right. actually seems a little a little bad I could actually no, see that point. causing resentment against the gay athletes is that does that make sense yes yeah sure. but if they had um, sponsored Billie Jean King or Martina Navratilova right. yeah instead of I guess they lost money because they were um, because they were out. Yeah, they right. were out of the sport. Yeah, Martina had said that she lost, she thinks, what could have been about $10 million right. by being out. But that actually brings up something, which is that for some reason we accept women as gay athletes very easily. Actually, just this week, the NBA draft, uh, the WNBA draft, Brittany Griner was selected number one and came out pretty much right. at the same day. But Nike's not going to throw her extra money for being gay because well, we, we kind expect, of. Do, do we accept it though? If, if Martina lost all that money, and you can see that, I mean, her career suffered after that a little bit, and her endorsements did. Do we really accept it? Now we're looking for, like, a male superstar, in quotes, to come out and do that. I think Law & Order already did an episode about trying to keep the privacy of uh, one of the gay athletes. Like, they were ahead of the times. I yeah. don't know. They that, beat Nike? You can cut that out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, was there a murder involved? Did they do murder? murder? Oh, there was a murder. Involved. Okay. Yeah. I thought maybe you're just making up a show altogether. Oh no, no. That... <laughs> it was really interesting because I had never heard of um, this being an issue. Yeah. Um, that anybody cared. Right. Yeah. But I guess it's a big deal for a gay football player to come right. out. It would be a big. I mean, there's been no professional athlete in the United States that, while playing right. in any of the major sports, has come out. A couple people have come out. After, but you know, this was also right. making me making me think that there are other businesses still and other careers that being out, especially as a guy, is not the thing to right. do. And uh, one of those such careers actually is comedy. If you're if you're a girl in comedy or a woman, girl, woman, lady, any <laughs> any of those things, the opposite uh, being yeah, <laughs> the opposite of guy. Yeah, you can be gay, and in a way, it almost works to your advantage between Ellen and Rosie and right. Wanda, and there's there's a slew of lesbian comedians, but really no openly gay guys. Where, where do you think that comes? You know, we're expecting an athlete to do it who has to get naked in a locker room. Well, maybe the incentive is maybe Nike better step up to the plate and now <laughs> right. I want some of that cash. Two questions about that. The first one is back to the sports thing. Uh, I wonder how much this money is going to motivate somebody more than actually like. 
doing it for Wanting some sort of reason model. to be a role model, right? Yeah. If someone's throwing a hundred million dollars at you, you're going to change your mind a little quicker. Yeah. I think. Would that matter even though in the long term, does that even matter if they did it for the money, but to they who? actually were gay and came and ended up being? Uh, a role I don't model. know. I mean, I'm just looking at it in a deeper way than maybe I should, no. but. Or maybe everyone else should look at it that way, too. <laughs> but I think um, Nike is probably going, well, we had Tiger Woods, and we had, who were the two others that were scandal? Like, right. they had these scandal. Oh, Lance Armstrong. Lance Armstrong. Lance Armstrong. Yeah. Right. Like, well, they didn't turn out so great. Right. Yeah. Like, maybe, yeah, we have nothing to lose. Yeah. Well, and... The, just do it. Just Nike, <laughs> Nike, just do it. That, when they come out with a commercial that's talking about being in the closet and then coming out, just, <laughs> just do, do it. it. I mean, you just wrote brilliant. the ad campaign. Well, you were right from the segment before. You found your new skill. At Wendy Liebman, <laughs> Nike, that's if you perfect. want to uh, get her uh, so some funny. of that advertising cash. Bonobos.com is the official outfitter of the Rubin Report. Use code TRR20 for 20% off your first purchase.